Good evening, everyone, and this is my first look at Nobara 39. This is the KDE version, and it's the new official version of Nobara. So it used to be GNOME, but Fedora, I don't know. It's always been awesome, both versions, Fedora KDE and the GNOME version, in my experience. But the fact that they are making KDE the main version, man, that's, that's a big one, because Fedora itself... The main, you know, official version is GNOME. It's real simple. It's pretty much you have to add everything to it that you can. But KDE is a little more customizable, I would say. <laughs> and, well, this is the first boot up for me to install it. And I will pause this video when I do go through the install so I don't make you wait. But right now, this, this uh, wallpaper looks really nice. It's a lot more style than I could come up with if I was to theme it myself. And it already has a cool look it kind of looks like the gnome version which i like it's a simplified not overwhelming kde look but i do love kde obviously so let's go click next there's my region i'm in detroit michigan area I'm gonna erase disk let's put in some credentials all right and use the same password for the administrator. Sure, this is just a test. This isn't my daily driver. And we're going to install it. Let's pause the video. All right, so the install has finished. And now we are going to do probably some updates. So I probably will pause it again, but let's check this out. It says we detect this is a new installation. Now, you'll usually get a, a pop-up here if you have a NVIDIA chipset. And it will say something about installing the drivers for that. I don't have an NVIDIA in this virtual machine, as far as I know. <laughs> so I'm going to click on yes. Going to perform the system update. So this looks pretty different. I don't recall this look to updating the system, but let's try that out. And I'll type in my system password. And if it starts updating and it looks like it's got a considerable amount, we're going to pause this. Yep, let's pause it. All right, so this wizard did inform me that I already have up all the updates. So we're good there. Let's see, what's this little icon here? That's the Plasma browser integration. So I assume that's a plugin that goes into Google Chromium. Let's see, if we go to extensions. Uh, let's see. Let's look and see if there's a Plasma one. Yep, there's a Plasma integration one. So that's cool. I'm not a Chromium fan, but I would use Brave or Firefox. Those are my two browsers that I generally use. Let's go here to the system settings and see what we have. Cool, we have the Breeze Dark and the Breeze theme. So it said it's going to have some custom theming. And I imagine... Let's see... More appearance settings. There is a theme actually called Nobara. That is really cool. So that is something that is giving it this special look. And I do like it. It's, it's, a, it's a refresh that I didn't see in the other version. The other version was just like a dark theme. And this is kind of like a purplish dark theme. And it looks really nice. It's easy to see. It's got nice contrast. Oh yeah, wow, look at all this. So there's a lot of work done in here. I appreciate that. That's really cool. Let's close that. Oops. Okay. Click this and see what we got. No bar package manager. I'm not going to really download any packages. It's just going to take a lot of time. But okay, something funky going on here. But again, we are in a virtual machine. So I probably need to restart. Let me do that real quick. Pause this. Now that I've restarted, I just should go over this Novara welcome screen again because it does talk about the NVIDIA proprietary updating of the drivers. Now, I don't mess with an NVIDIA card really, even though I have a 3060 on this desktop, but I just, on my on my laptop, it's just a typical Intel GPU and it works just fine. So I can skip these first steps because I already updated the system. Recommended additions, let's see what they said. Yep, they have the same ones. Now, keep in mind that these are special tweaks that are applied to these from the Nobara um, creator 
glorious egg roll. And there's install OBS Studio, which I do from here, and it tends to run really well. So let's do that. It's just like a one-click install. It's really nice. All right, we'll get that out of the way for now. And optional steps. Let's see if there's anything different than I don't recognize. Install Steam Game Fix-Ups. This is really cool. It's got so many tweaks. Now, again, I'm in a virtual machine. I'm not going to play any games on this. I'm not going to really install anything here. It's just a 20 gig virtual machine that I made. I'm not going to mess with the themes for now. This is a brand new install, so I just want to keep it pretty solid. And what I would do is I would recommend checking to see if Time Machine is, or Time Shift is installed with BTRFS. And it does have the option. That's cool. Very cool. So what I like about Nobara is that they fix and prepare the BTRFS backup. There's, It always seems to be broken out of the box in Fedora for me, unless you know how to partition exactly the way you need to before installing your operating system, which a lot of people are just like, I've already done that. I'm not going to go back and wipe out my OS and fix it. There is a way, there's some hackery you can do to fix your file system the way you need to to get BTRFS snapshots to work, but... Nobara's already done that for you. So you can just click next. Uh, include the home. Yeah, why the heck not? Go to finish. Watch this. Watch how fast this is. Now, if you were doing, you know, rsync or whatever, it would take, it would have to go through all the files. But BTRFS just, it's designed to do snapshots. So this should go pretty quick. And I'm going to pause the video because it could just be calculating some things. Yep, that only took a few seconds, and now the moving forward, if I did another snapshot, it would be a lot quicker. All right, back to the desktop, and I really do love how everything just pops with the menus. Everything's just really easy to read. Kind of reminds me of Manjaro's theming, where it's, I don't know, some kind of green theme, but it's easy to read and easy to scroll and just stuff like that. It just feels like a fast, faster, polished system on the same hardware I've been using. So I can just right-click on the desktop. There's lock screen, leave, add panel, add widgets. So this is all KDE-specific, you know, functionality. But you also have that ability to create template files, which is if you put a special file on there that you, you know, make a template out of, like a text file that you constantly use, you can just right-click and create it anywhere in the shell of the operating system. So we got uh, figure display settings similar to Windows. KDE is very... Windows-esque, which I like. These menus, we can kind of just go through these real quick. We got all applications. I'm just going to go to the administration. We got firewall, language, under development. We got Kate. That's a text editor for KDE. We have education stuff. That is just your open off or LibreOffice tools. You got games. We got Lutris already. The Steams. This is all for playing games in Linux when you normally could only play them in Windows. You can run them in an emulation layer called Proton, but there's Proton with tweaks, and Glorious Egg Roll's tweaks are unrivaled. Like, they're just awesome in Linux. For graphics, we have Inkscape, Gwenview. And, oh, cool. It's a, it's a, I like that image viewer. Muse Score. Wow, that's, that's a surprise. That's cool. It's a really cool music notation software where you can, you know, on a music staff, write a bunch of notes and drum parts. I've done it before. It's, it's useful. It's very fast and, and, and lean. <laughs> uh, you got internet. We got Chromium. Eh, not a fan, but it's a little too close to Google for me. It even allows Google sign-in. If you go to the Chromium browser, it allows you to sign with your Google account. Let's cancel that. We don't need that. If we go here and we go to, where is it? Chrome Sync. I bet it's, I bet it's in here. Let's see. Settings. Sync and Google services. Yeah, I don't want any Google services on my computer anymore. So let's close that. I'll remove that later. And we have multimedia. We got Lisa, a music player. I'll just install VLC Media Player to handle all my music and videos. There's MuseScore again. So it shows up under graphics as it's like you're drawing music notation. And it also shows up under multimedia. Pulse is the audio. Uh, let's see. System. Okay, we got Crash Process Viewer. I'm sure we'll be using that here and there. Things tend to crash when you got a lot of software running. And you got updates going. Let's see. What else do we have? KDE Wallet Manager. Console. 
Time Shift. That's a beautiful piece of software. Just used it, as you saw earlier. Utilities. There's Kate, the text editor again. K-Find, okay. K-Mouth, speech synthesizer. I've never used that, that I recall. Proton, Spectacle. That is a great screenshot software. It's got everything built into it. And let's do a rectangular region. Try it out. Gosh, it's so snappy. And you can draw right over it. I mean, this is in a virtual machine. Look how fast this is. It runs faster than my native Windows machine. All right. Anything else? Lost and found. That's just things that don't go under categories, I suppose. Wine Tricks, another tweaking tool. Welcome to the bar. That's one we watched earlier. And really, that's it. This is really cool. I'm a fan. I'm going to install this as my Linux daily driver again. Um, God, I go back and forth between Linux Mint, Nobara, plain old Fedora. I, I, I don't know. This is, this is just too good. I got to try it. So thanks for watching.